Hey guys, Eric here. I just finished my at the table lecture for Murphy's Magic. Some of the effects that you'll see in here are my uh, unique take with the hot rod. Let's say we have a color stick here. We have six colors on uh, on each side. Name a number between one and six. Uh, four. Four, watch. Count from you because you're the coolest guy in the room. One, two, three, four. Lands us right on the green. Uh, I, at least I think it's the green. You know, I'm wearing glasses. It's a little bit hard to tell. You ever try to look at something on your phone that's a little bit too small, so you have to zoom in to close it? Let me All check. The time. Yep, it's definitely green. <laughs> Just gotta check. <laughs> but uh, for the benefit of everybody else, I'll let you take a look at it. You can actually see the moment it turns green, just like wow. so. Now I want to make sure everybody can see this. We'll bring it right up here, okay? Just like that, and I'll let you see very fair green on both sides until it becomes. It looks like a camera trick when you do it. A very cool triple coin effect that changes the level of your magic and fits right in your pocket. Just carefully. You can actually see the moment. Nice. The coin produced. Chinese coin. Right? But of course, one coin is great, but you know what's better? Two. Two is always better. But you seem like the kind of guy who enjoys uh, three. <laughs> One, two, and three. Problem is though, Titanus, these are Chinese coins, right? They're, uh, they're, not, uh, they're not very common in American society. You know what is though? Silver coins. Silver coins are very common <laughs> in society. Half dollars specifically. Well, maybe not so much anymore. They're not really uh, used much anymore. So we might as well get rid of them. It's all in our head anyway. Just a wave. So far, so good, right? <laughs> so wait, that goes right back. Oh, wow. To just one coin, that's three, that's two, and that is one. That's great, man. Uh, my signature effect happenstance, in which a number of coincidences absolutely blow your audiences away. We're going to uh, take the deck of cards here, and I want you guys to see that they really are all different, they're not all the same card. Yep. Uh, Titanus, go ahead and stick out a finger for me. Good choice of finger. As I, drop the, <laughs> exactly. As I draw the cards from hand to hand, I want you to slowly, gently, and perhaps even surgically insert your finger into the cards wherever you feel it is that you wish to stop, wherever you like. Oh, okay, right there. Are you sure? Yep. Is that fair? Yes. All right. There we are. You can put the finger down now. It's not that kind of show. <laughs> Now one card before would of course been the Ace of Diamonds, one card after the uh, Ten of Diamonds. I do not want to see the card, do not tell me what it is and I won't look at the monitor. Okay. And everybody got it? Yep. i bury it right back where we found it. Give it a few cuts so we don't know exactly where it is. So if you had a number just in your mind, just floating around and you reached out and you grabbed it, what is that number? Ten. Ten. Fascinating. Why ten? Uh, just a very solid, nice, fun number. First time you get into the, the two digits. And binary. Yeah. And yeah. binary, one zero, right? Mm -hmm. Look, two fingers, no manipulation possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards removed from the pack, right? A number freely chosen from your mind, just grabbed out of the air. There's no way he could have known. And yet, he did. I had an absolute blast performing for the guys here at Murphy's, and I'll see you at the table.